Hello students, today we are starting our module 6. Module 6 is dealing with the sludge and various sludge treatment methods. So first let us see what is actually a sludge. We know that after a wastewater treatment we are getting two end products. The first one is effluent which means the wastewater, treated wastewater. Then the second one is what you called as sludge. So these are the two end products of the wastewater treatment. So sludge means it is the settled particles in different wastewater system. If you are considering a primary sedimentation tank you know that after the working of primary sedimentation tank the suspended particles will get settled down at the bottom. That settled particles is called as sludge. The peculiarity of this sludge is that it is having high amount of organic matter and also it is having high amount of moisture content. Since it is highly, it is containing high amount of organic matter, it is highly purchasable in nature or offensive in nature. So we have to treat it before the disposal. We know that when we are considering a wastewater treatment system, the wastewater is entering to different stages of treatment from primary stage, primary treatment, then towards secondary treatment, then towards final uh, tertiary treatment or final disposal. But in each of the system like primary sedimentation tank, activated sludge treatment process or a secondary settling tank, uh, there exists the settled sludge at the bottom of this particular treatment system. So that sludge has to be treated before disposal. Just like the effluent or the treated wastewater, sludge is also having a great concern. It is having a high amount of organic matter. So that is the need of the sludge treatment process. Before that, let us see what are the different uh, types of sludges. Sludges are of three types. The first one is called raw sludge or primary sludge. The second one is called secondary sludge. The third one is called activated sludge. This uh, categorization or uh, this different types uh, are based on where the sludge uh, occurs or what are the sources of this is based on the sources of sludge if the sludge if we are taking the sludge from primary sedimentation tank that sludge is known as raw sludge if you are taking the sludge from a secondary sedimentation tank or a trickling filter then that sludge is known as secondary sludge and activated sludge mean it is the sludge deposited at the bottom of uh, or uh, the sludge we are getting from the activated sludge treatment process. So these three are the different types of sludges. In here, uh, uh, in these three types, raw sludge uh, contains really high organic matter than the other two that is secondary sludge and activated sludge. So we have to treat the sludge before the disposal into a land or sea so now we are going to uh, see what are the different sludge treatment techniques used for the treatment pro process. So let us see what are the different treatment techniques. These are the sludge treatment techniques that we are used. This is the order or this is the flowchart of sludge treatment process. The, end, uh, the general need or uh, the general aim of these treatment techniques are two. One is to reduce the moisture content, then to decompose the organic matter. These are the two aims or purposes of these different treatment techniques. So this is the order of treatment that we are giving for a sludge before the disposal. The first stage of treatment is sludge thickening or conditioning. Sludge thickening or conditioning means to reduce 
the moisture content of the sludge as uh, we are considering a sludge it is containing only 0.25 percentage to 12 percentage of solids the left percentage is for water so this sludge is having a high amount of moisture content which needs to be reduced before the before we are uh, disposing or treating the further uh, process at first we have to reduce the moisture content which is really high for a sludge so that is called as thickening sludge thickening or sludge conditioning the next step is digestion sludge digestion sludge digestion means to decompose the organic matter present inside the sludge it can be either aerobic process or through anaerobic process uh, the treatment system that we are used for uh, digestion is called as sludge digestion uh, sludge digester so through a sludge digester we can decompose the organic matter present inside the sludge so that is the second step of treatment then the third step is conditioning conditioning means to prepare the sludge for the dewatering process which is the next treatment step so conditioning means to enable or to enhance the drainability of sludge or to help the next process called dewatering to make uh, the sludge capable for dewatering process so that is about conditioning the conditioning is uh, done with the use of different uh, chemical conditioners uh, so that is about conditioning next dewatering already uh, in the thickening or conditioning uh, stage itself uh, the moisture content will reduce up to 90 percentage uh, still uh, there is moisture content which needs to be reduced that is done using dewatering techniques uh, the dewatering uh, system that we are used for a sludge is called as sludge drying bed in a sludge drying bed we can dewater the sludge also in this process in the dewatering process uh, we can reduce the volume of the sludge and also to reduce the moisture content along with the moisture content the volume of sludge also get reduced in the dewatering stage now the next step is uh, heat drying in a rotary kin or uh, in a furnace we will heat the sludge and the purpose of this is again to reduce the further moisture content still present in the sludge it is done uh, at a temperature of 350 degree celsius using a rotary kin or a uh, furnace that's about heat dry then the last step or the last treatment step is incineration incineration means we will burn out the sludge which will be at a temperature of 650 degree celsius to 750 degree celsius at a really high temperature we will burn the sludge uh, at this point of time the sludge is having very less amount of moisture content which is removed through all this one to five steps uh, and also the volume the total volume of sludge is very less so in that condition we can easily incinerate the sludge uh, if the sludge is having much higher amount of moisture content incineration process is not uh, incineration process is difficult to carry out uh, so before that through the one to five steps we are removing the high moisture content of the sludge so in incineration we will again remove or we will burn the organic matter or the microorganisms present uh, inside the sludge thereby make uh, the sludge for a safe disposal this is the final treatment technique hope you understood different treatment techniques once again let's have a look the first one is thickening or sludge conditioning which means it is to reduce uh, the moisture content of the sludge uh, and also one thing to remember is that there are several techniques or several uh, methods uh, of sludge conditioning or thickening similarly for each and every techniques there are different types of techniques used uh, for example in thickening we have gravity thickening then flotation centrifugation these are all the thickening techniques that we are used uh, which we will see later 
uh, for today we are dealing only with what are the various step or what are the purpose of various step of uh, treatment techniques so thickening is to red uh, is for reducing the moisture content second one is digestion digestion means to remove the or to decompose the organic matter present in the sludge either aerobically or anaerobically then conditioning which uh, this step will enhance the drainability of sludge or make the sludge uh, fit for dewatering process next step is dewatering mean, means uh, it will reduce moisture content to a more amount and also it will reduce the total volume of the sludge uh, for example we are using a system like sludge drying bed for dewatering purpose next step is heat drying which means we are drying the sludge at a temperature of 350 degrees celsius using uh, a rotary kin or a furnace in that case also the volume of the sludge will again goes to much reduction and also the moisture content will also get reduced to a very uh, small amount then the last step is incineration which means the dewatered or dried sludge will be burnt off to remove all the organic matter or microorganisms present in the sludge uh, it is done at a temperature of 650 degrees to 750 degree after this 1 2 3 4 5 6 steps we can safely dispose sludge to a land area or towards a uh, water body that's about uh, today's topic sludge treatment techniques hope you understood thank you